Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an overview of the Nintendo Wii from the year 2007. It was originally released in 2006, but my dad bought it around November 2007. It actually came to the calendar, that how long I've played it for. And we're going to talk to you about how to play or power this on. Basically, you just power it on like that. You can do it like here wirelessly with a remote controller. Man, the time has flew. You can either press the button here to power it on like a regular remote controller. Um, hold on. So here it is. We're just gonna press the button. It releases straight to the Wii menu. And there's a variety of channels in the games where you can play. Right now the sensor bar, it needs a sensor bar. So we're gonna have to move the sensor bar, position it to the bottom of the TV right here. I, I remember when I made a video back in 2009 to do a sensor bar hack with candles, but Anything that has LED lights or candles is right. The sensor bar is right over here where the remote controller can definitely automatically like have a sensor ship for, uh, for, for the screen to have a cursor viewed on it with the remote controller. At the time in 2006, it was a very new thing at the time. And people were amazed by the technology advancements that they have made since GameCube. Basically, you can do it to virtual consoles. Like you can play older video games for NES, Super Nintendo, that you buy at the Wii Shop, but they don't sell that at the Wii Shop anymore. You can play the actual CD game on the on the on the on the first channel. That's where the CD goes in. You can create your own Mii's. You can do pictures, photo channel, Wii Shop channel, many different type of virtual consoles, forecast news that don't work anymore. As of now, you don't really see people playing online on Call of Duty or anything like that because this game console has been around for about 18 years to 17 years. Mine's 16 years old. This console's been around since September 2007. So as you can see, the overview of this old school electronics now, it's, it's considered an old school console at this time. It's a the Call of Duty World at War. I remember playing this on Xbox 360 and it was really exciting at the time when it came out. And uh, basically you can see that the overview is playing like much better graphics than the N64, obviously, you know, you could just pr play any game, resume the game, it'll save itself, and then you will just play yourself a video game where you're just, this is, for example, Call of Duty. There's other games like Wii Sports and Mario Galaxy where you can check them out, where you can actually, like, use swinging motion to uh, do tennis or baseball or bowling or other things like that. But um, this one, you just point and aim, for shooting people, like soldiers, Japs, German soldiers, you have to use a sensor bar to, 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 uh, to, uh, you know, follow your opponents. Right now, I can't do this with two hands, but you get the idea. That's pretty much the overview. You can uh, select, you can insert CDs by inserting it right here. The eject button's right here, the reset button's here, the power button's here, and that's pretty much it for the overview.